Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Uh, today we're back in Soma for uh, an episode number three. And we are just outside of um, Station Theta. I think we are about to discover <laughs> how much of a havoc was wreaked on it by our dearest Harry. I'm a little scared because, well, actually, I'm a lot all scared, but um, setting that aside. Considering how insane he sounded on those radio recordings, I cannot even imagine what he ended up doing to those people. Because I'm fairly certain after editing the previous episode, I think the two people that I found, I think it was two? Yes, the two people that were I found uh, at Station Delta, uh, where the transport was, were those divers that we heard about that were supposed to come in to get him. And then we heard another recording of... I think it was from the point of view of the the male diver. Yeah, he was he was laying in the office, or his body was in the office. So, yeah, they did not look great. And apparently he injected something into them, so that's fun. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. And yes, we are looking for Dunbat. Don't necessarily know what that means, but the bat part makes me think of a bathysphere of some sort. I can't imagine what Dun is supposed to stand for. <laughs> All right, here we are. Anything we can find. I wonder if I can go there. Let me see. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The bow sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Comoravi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Yeah, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right, see you soon. Wait a second, so did he die along the way, or was he pretending? Because he sounded pretty healthy. Healthy? Healthy. As he was um, talking to them, you know? Shuttle station, okay. Not so much. Alright, that was probably a waste of time, but let's keep going. So they took him to the medical station. So it's possible that he didn't actually do anything? Unless he was pretending. Which I wouldn't put past him, honestly. What? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No, we haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself 
At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? I mean, that makes sense, but... Can't the scan be reused also to create other copies? I don't know why, but I can see it being possible. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? No. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmire when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. I think I saw the number 24 for Theta. Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. That feels horrible. See you later. Will do. I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. You good? I think so. I feel fine. Okay. Well, I hope Robin does not realize the reality of the situation. Oh no, I can turn off Robin? I don't want to. Or would that be a mercy? I don't understand. What? You don't want to talk to me? Is this what it's supposed to look like? No. I'm sorry, Robin. I think this is happening. Let me go! I hope Robin's copy made it to the Ark. And this is just another vestigial one that I was talking about. But man, that feels horrible every time. How many Simons are out there? Oh, you don't want to open? Oh, never mind. I can figure this out. I... maybe? Okay, he doesn't want to. Oh! Oh, I see. Back? There we go. No, no, no. Keep forgetting that the flashlight is really unhelpful. 
Hello. Can you see me? Camera? Maybe it's just really unhelpful in the water? Hello? Anyone there? All the 24 people? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. We did. Don't know if it's a good thing. Okay, this looks like something I could potentially break. Let's see. Nothing is working, which is not unexpected. So you aren't going to open for me then, right? No. Okay. Theta Laboratory. I saw a fire extinguisher or something. Oh. No, you go back. Of course, one blow is not enough. There we go. I don't like these cameras. I don't know if they work, but I don't like them anyway. It looks like we need power. I realized as I was editing the previous video that I missed a couple of things in the lockers as I was opening them because I only was looking inside of the lockers and not at doors themselves. Right. Something is chugging along. Here? We're here! Okay, great! Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just 
thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. Oh, no. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Thank you. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Okay. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Can I not take the... the Omni tool back? I guess maybe the computer will know. Okay, Theta, all systems operational, hull, pretty good, armor, decent, life support, wow, air clean on the medium level, 13 degrees, okay. Oh, I see. Uh, so the bathrooms are back there, and then there's this other room that I couldn't access. Well, I guess two of them. Black box beacon? What is that supposed to mean? Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. I know what that means. So everyone has a black box beacon, the, the people. Okay. Deceased. Robin, aw. Okay, Alvaro, Emma, might be alive. Catherine is missing. Dorian, deceased. Jessica, deceased. Joaquin might be alive. Sean might be alive. Martin deceased. Keith, overseer. Matthew. Jasper, Nikolai. Maggie. Guy. Masters Nadine. Peterson, Ian. A lot of people missing. I don't... I wonder what that means. I guess Catherine is missing too. Oh man, I hope we don't actually end up finding her body. That would be super sad. Okay, well, shall we check out the bathroom, I guess? Since we can't take... We, we, we really can't take it, can we? Okay, no. This one is still closed, though. Hmm. Wait, what was that about? Oh. Okay. Oh, shush. What? I don't like it. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. Something moving? What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. So do I. 
Trust me. This isn't working. None of it is. I don't remember the map extending that far away. I'm sorry, what? Can I look at the map again? This does not check out. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Is this open? What is this? Thanks, Dromar. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kinda sounds like a warning. It does. Okay, so this is going downstairs, so perhaps I need to go to the other place first. Um, I'm gonna look at the map real quick, just to confirm where I'm at. Okay, main level. So it does go down, then. To here. And wherever this goes. Okay, so regardless where I go, I will end up in the same spot. That's fine. This whole thing about be quiet, proxy listens. I don't know what they mean by proxy, but I understand be quiet. So we're gonna go full crouch mode. Right after this. What is this? This is locked, right? Yeah. Though I might be able to unlock it from here, maybe? Data Lab. Research. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Oh, wow. Troubleshoot? Unable to connect to mainframe. Please reset router in the sublevel vault. Okay. What is this? I can put this in there somewhere? In... in somewhere. This is probably going to be the same error then. Wait, what? You want to... Oh, oh, is this somewhere you can put your cassette into? Need to fix that mainframe connection. Okay. I'm going to keep it for now. This here. is where I would store the ARC scans. So you saved the whole staff digitally on these chips? That was the plan. It is not looking very promising at this point. So how do I... 
Reset the mainframe. It said it was on the sub-level. No, that's not promising either. Is he gonna talk to me? This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Fair enough. Pilot seat. This is basically the same thing that uh, was used for me a long time ago. Okay, I can put it in to multiple places. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. <sighs> wow. So that was their philosophy then. All of them. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Oh, Munchie is here, and that's me! Okay, NAD Comp. The Nanami Composition. Compressed Nakajima Neurograph. Continuous time to. Okay. Author Nakajima Shin. Nanami. Female. Birth 97. Okay. Berg. Erase data? Do we want to do that? I don't think we want to do that. After David Munchie... Uh, after. Author. David Munchie. David Munchie? How did this... What is this? 2015. So they scanned each other. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munshi's templates. A legacy scan. No more info? Post scan. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. So once that scan was made, we essentially split up. There was the actual Simon, and now it's me, and however many other Simons that are other or out there. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. 
like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now, the brain damage, you guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. This game is going to bring out an existential crisis for me, isn't it? What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. That is really putting it very simply. <laughs> okay, well, I suppose we can keep going this way. In a way, it is nice. Because this Simon does not have any issues with his health. Well, besides being in a suit underwater. <laughs> Okay. Not nice. Not nice. The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Hmm. Something does not quite add up. No mirrors for me, huh? <laughs> Never mind that, there was a mirror, actually. Did not expect that. I'm somehow not very attracted to the idea of looking into the toilets. Very strange. Do not fancy the idea of communal showers like that either. Not gonna lie. So, you're not worried that there are other Simons or Catherines running around out there? Now I am. Gee, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. Not really my fault. For thinking it. Of course, now that I'm checking the doors, nothing is going to be in there. Hmm. 
All right. Let's go. Now the light is gonna flicker again, isn't it? Yep. Of course. There's nothing Wonder in here. Wonder what the real Simon would have thought if he knew about me. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I, I mean the real Simon. The human Simon. Going by your reactions, I'd say he'd be pretty upset. I think so. Is this the Ark? I'm guessing. Error. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going, but this is a locked Guy Conrad. Nadine Masters. This is all locked, right? So loud everything is. That's him. Okay. More pictures. Oh, I can look at this. Uh, master tool safety. Doesn't really tell me much, does it? Okay, who else can we get access to? Oh god. Catherine! Hey, that's my room. You want me yeah. to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. I am glad that I can still talk to Catherine throughout this time. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. Yeah, sorry about rummaging through your things. But I kind of have to. Okay, I did see... Oh, that's creepy. I did see this. Sorry? Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me now how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the vivarium, vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the read simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people, constructed from model neurographs, the vivarium brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content. From the originating brain scan read emerged, the read inside the vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the def 
refraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using this seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seats and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. That's terrifying. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all people we can find and load them into the capsule. We uh, Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Sarong killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves, as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. <sighs> Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend for a capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulences makes me weather makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. Wow. Hey, Kath. Wanna say something about it? Not really? Okay. Understandable. So these are all of their living quarters, right? Come on. I still had you. Mark. Oh, wait, no. This is exactly what I didn't want. Hello? What have you found? Oh, interesting. He was researching whatever was happening with the growth. Okay. Right. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Do not frighten Catherine. I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, no, there is no tragedy to warn. For I am victorious. I ha advise you. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mark. I can understand how he would think Did that. Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you 
and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. I mean, in a way, I see the logic, but it's crazy to think about it this way. Why did my flashlight turn on turn off by the way while I was listening to this? Classified Intelligence Analyst, Mr. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in uh, making the WoW a station-wide presence. What? He did this? We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. The supervisory board. This is crazy! Haimatsu board 55 approval? I don't really know what that says. Okay, what do you say? Pavlina Martinu, the nature of identity. Huh, what does it mean to be human? Isn't that the question of this entire game? Whew. All right, Mark. Clearly, you did great. Okay, we have two more people we can explore. Uh, Martin Fisher and Robin Bass. Ooh, Robin. I do want to learn about you. She killed herself. With a straight razor. All dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Serum in the continuity. I hope she made it onto the Ark. Or her scan did, I guess. Kitty! What is it? Oh, a seagull. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, hello. What is this? Do I put something there? 
I I don't understand. Can I put you? No. Sorry. Locked. Great. Okay, I don't really know what to put in here. This is the Ark. Okay. Some people get couches. Nothing, huh? Oh, this is one of those Healy things. Do you open? I am sorry, what? What was that? I did not like that at all. Okay, I bet the light is going to go out again. Or not. That's fine. No passage. Oh, no passage here either. Okay. So this was a dead end after all. I guess good thing nothing changed here. Yet. I'm sorry. Oh, it's broken. I don't like it. I can't get out. How about not? I don't like it. This is awful. Not even a good door to open. Let's not look at it. Who are you? I guess I can't talk to you? Okay then.
Is this where I reset the mainframe somehow? But I'm not seeing anything. No? Is there something to heartlessly disconnect in here? Maybe not. I don't like this. I have to go to the door where the screeching was coming from. so scared. Am I supposed to do something here? It's beeping at me. Did I fuck it up? Maybe. Maybe I did. 
network error. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh, please. How do I do this? work? I think it worked. <sighs> oh my god. Mainframe, online. I need to get back up. I am so scared. I just need to get out. Like, really, really? I'm also trying to be very conscious of the stuff that is on the floor. Alright, can we just do this? Thank you. Now let's see if we can jump our way back up here. Okay, not quite jump, but something. Ooh, okay. Do not break under me. Good job, Simon. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. There's more of... Did that just come up a little? Okay, I need to be here. For a bit. For a very brief bit. Was that here? Okay. Oh, all right. Imogen Reed by Catherine. Test environment? What does that mean? Copy to none? Water fuel filled steel tank, sensory limiter, beach. Can I? No. I was wondering if I could check them. Versailles. Agreeable exterior test applied to arc. Excellent. Data reconstructed by WoW, do not use. What do we do? Restricted file, okay. Copy to none. Can I listen to you? Beach ski 
Lodge. Agreeable interior test discarded. So Imogen, can I transfer you to the beach? Copy to chip? I don't know what this is. I already have this. I was hoping I could transfer the people. I don't know. What if I do this? Already contains, okay. And I can't copy these. I don't know why. Corrupt data, okay. I have no idea what that means. Can't really do much of this. There was another computer in the initial room with my Omni tool that I can get to. We should really look for a scan. Check the storage. Scan log? Catherine? Schedule? No. Scan projector active. You. Okay. Do not have the data. So, where would I put? Aha. Uh -huh. I did not notice this before. Okay. Ooh, there's one. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. No. Anyone who could know a security cipher. All right, let's explore Lindwall Sarah. Said she'd help out delivering the Ark. Killed himself because of continuity. Oh, this is Mark. Strohmeyer is really mad, has tightened security, arc project on hold. Wan... Brandon? Delta refugee, construct wrangler. He's working for Strohmeyer now. Another fucking continuity suicide. This is Robin. Strohmeyer locked me out of my lab again. Kamara be Maggie. We look so much alike. In a different life, I'm sure we'd be best friends. Hmm. Wolchek Heather. She helped me cut the wave leak from the helmet. If anything, it would make the post-scan hangover less severe. <laughs> Starsky was cheerful and funny as always. Said she'd helped construct the Ark, but not carry it to Fi. Mm. Should we try Starsky? Oh, this guy seemed promising. If he was working for Strohmeyer. Let's get him. 
Unless they have enough space for all of them. That would be good. Very promising. I'll just load them up and get the simulator going. There oh, I can are. check? What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. This is weird. That wasn't so bad. This trauma really got me worked up. Bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Take it easy, Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened? I, I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. It's okay. It's all a part of the scam. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Mr. Wan, I need you to stay calm. No, 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 no. Well, why, are you, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was gonna work. Maybe we can try again. I can't put any environments for them? I feel like I should be able to. Can I? Oh, maybe I can. Okay, scan room. Let's do this. That wasn't so bad. This room I really got me worked up. Bastard. What? Where did it? Alice? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Chun? Where's Alice? She left. Mr. Wan, I need you to give me the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is a trick. Please, this is important. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! Do we need to turn it off? Can Ooh. we just keep them alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. Okay, let's do beach. That wasn't so bad. This room I really got me worked up. Bastard. What? How did I get here? Welcome back, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Everything's fine. Thaden needs your help. We need the new security cipher. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's still empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. So I need to find... Um, a module, I guess. Let's see. Where do I find that? I haven't seen them yet, I guess. Are these all people, or would they have modules too? No luck. Maybe I'll need to go back to um, to their sleeping quarters just to see if there's something that I can unlock again. That's not here. Or maybe there's something I can scavenge from here. I don't think so. All right, this is a puzzle. Why can't you just unlock it for me, Catherine? Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Wait. There we go. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Brandon, 
I'm really a mess about the scan. Everyone is being so brave. All smiles, no regrets. You know how you said you would hold my hand during the scan? If the offer still stands, I gratefully accept. If we do it together, we could suffer the hangover together as well. They say it takes a couple of days to recover. Kisses, Alice. A letter from someone named Alice. They were he together was calling during out the scan. for Alice. You know her? He was close with Coster. I would not have expected that. Can we use that somehow? Mm, keep looking. Security clearance. YYC. I don't know what that means, but it's promising. This must be Alice then. Cute. His parents? Oh, sorry. Okay. August 14 to 2103. Akers finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Creer, and I moved to Theta today. Akers said he'd stick around for a while longer. That crazy bastard. I take pride in my work. But goddamn, that place is miserable since the service surface stopped sending parts. Alice and Brandon were definitely together during the scan. Good to know. Maybe we can use that somehow. Did my ARC scan together with Alice? Stormire told me that the hangover would basically kill me. Such an asshole. It was fine at first, but got a splitting headache a couple of hours later. The biggest pain was the Chun girl. She is so fucking uncomfortable at all times, it makes my skin crawl. Stromire went ballistic and shut down all future scans for the ARC project. Apparently, Conrad wanted in on the continuity and just fried himself right in the pilot seat after the scan. Something tells me we'll be getting new security ciphers. Just heard that the Homo Rebi survey team is going to Delta and pick up Acres. Okay. He's been alone for months now. Can't imagine what he's been up to. Um, what else can we find about you? Mister? Alright. So he's into mountains. Suppose that's good. Oh, no. Uh, he's, um... Fair Child Award? For Achievements of the Engineering Youth. Okay. Right, let's listen. Brandon, you ready to go? Stromire says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strask and Alvaro to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. I think I just heard Alice talking to Brandon on the intercom. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. Great, this is exactly what we need. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick them into feeling safe enough to open up. That's hey, kind of cruel. Definitely feeling good about this. Good yeah, job with right? the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So I it comes naturally so. to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. <laughs> Alice is not even here. This just keeps opening up. Do you see that? This wasn't like this before. I compiled an Alice module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Alice. Scan room. I think this is the best option. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up. Bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Stromar. He said he needed a new cipher ASAP. What should I tell him? 
It's all right. I can talk to him. Please. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay. It's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. Long. Red. Goodbye. No, wait. Oh, no, 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 stop. That's enough. We got what we need. Oh. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. I don't know if he ever made it to the Ark. I can't bring myself to erase him until I make sure. Shut down. Okay. So now we have the cipher. Now is this completely open now? No. Okay. Simon, we got it. We can get to the dungat now. Get back here. Something's fucky is gonna happen, isn't it? Catherine. Couldn't we just have extracted the cipher from Brandon's data somehow? So cruel bringing him back like we did. No, that's impossible. Memories don't work like that. Let's just hope it was worth it. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. What? Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. I cannot imagine it going well. Considering the ominous doors that continue to open. This is locked now? Nothing on. That's promising. Okay. What are we doing? Oh, all right. There's something going up. Wait, I can move this? How do I move this? Ooh! No. This is like the opposite of what I want to do. No luck. do with you I feel like there's got to be something about this oh okay maybe maybe I need to plug it in all right there we go that's better Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that went well, didn't it? Catherine? Oh, she's not plugged in anymore. Ah, that sucks. It's gone. But this is now open. Isn't that nice? Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. <sighs> At all. Is this going to break under me? I have a feeling that it might. Oh. Can we just take this raceway to wherever we need to go? Hopefully out of this station. Okay. Hello. This looks great. I'm a fan. Do I need to remember this? Prep Arquist signal transmitter. Power packs. Tots. Extra oxygen P2 permission. Ian? Okay. And Catherine is there. Haimatsu power suit. Proper usage. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Check the HBS for any visual damages. Uh, starting with the legs. Fix the pants onto the harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let the partner help you with the back piece and the torso. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. Okay. Do not try to fix yourself. Contact maintenance if the suit doesn't seal yourself. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need to breathe, apparently. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. Cool. Now, what in the hell is this, and where are we? And I like none of this. Got a computer. And we can talk to Catherine, I think, can't we? Huh? Wait, this isn't... No. Oh no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, 
the only other way would be the climber at Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the Ark here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Somehow, this does not seem like a good idea. My decision. Ooh! I have decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Dr. Catherine Chun. What's left? Apply interface module, seal arc capsule, ask permission from 4Q, brief Ivashkin, Lindwall, Peterson, and Hill, take shuttle to Omicron, pick up power suits, ride the climber into the abyss, well she was right, regroup at Tau, head to launch site, load the bullet, launch arc. Uh, I think there was more, right. Arc locator is at Tau. Yeah, we knew that. Attitude sur survey. Do I need to do this? Recently it was decided that the Arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind. And that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Strongly agree. <laughs> to embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using pi pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger MK-7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun, and technically survive for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing generic code, genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. I agree, actually. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Strongly agree. Thank you for participating. This is how your colleagues voted. I see. Okay. Okay. Well. Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. How do I do that? No device connected? Um... What's this thing? This? That's just a compact examiner. 
Koster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Give it a try. A tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Yes. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Yeah, you're a robot. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen. Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway. The Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. At least we know how to get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. I don't necessarily know about the sound body, considering I had like half a head. Do you open? Not really. Okay. You don't open either. So what do I do with you then? Swipe Omni Tool. Um, it's got to be somewhere here then, right? No. Oh wait, there's another thing. There. Okay. Memory corrupted. Simulation reconfiguration necessary. How do I do that? Please reduce memory footprint. <laughs> Package Soma Hum. Forest. Heat interface. Ooey. Mod river and chair. Um. Okay. So, am I turning off stuff then? Um. Uh, sure. I can live without a lake. Or sun at noon. A boat. There's only... Okay, sure. This is good. Is this still not enough? Hmm. What do I need? Or do I need all systems on? And all the other stuff not really. It doesn't seem like it. Dirt road? And a bench? Or maybe a boat? And uh, a river? No. Lake? God damn it. Bench and dirt road. And sun. No. Moon? Why 
What am I doing? Why can't I click next? Is there another button that I'm missing? It would not surprise me. Catherine, what do I do? Get an arc simulation going. Trying. if there's anything else I can do. Sim base requirement. Soma? I see. I see what it means. Okay. Okay, base requirement Soma. Then light source. Uh, moon. Then water. Okay, still not enough. Uh, nope. Fluid, okay. Okay, maybe I'd do river instead of this? Um... Could I do dirt road instead of this? No, we need water. I do. That works. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Okay. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Try pausing it when the dummy is loaded. Fine. Is it done? You need to catch it while it's being loaded. God damn it. No, try again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. <laughs> How do I do this? This is way too fast. Okay. Did it work? No. Yes? Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? 
Oh, right. Now what? Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this Ark as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. I should have run others. Did something open? Oh, she just unloaded herself. Okay. All right. Well, I guess onwards and upwards. Now we just need to get out of here. Hello? What? This does not look very promising, does it? No. Stormer! Brand, where are you? It got out of hand. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe right now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Fine! Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. That's the guy that we used. It's missing a chip or something. Okay. This is for the elevator? Uh All right, let's see where are we? Main lift. We were in the project development hub. Omega management. Bunch of offices. Would I find um Mr. Akers in the exam room? I don't know. All right, guys, we are going to end this here. Um, this was uh, a slightly less productive episode for me because I feel like I didn't really move forward all that much. But we did learn a whole lot through all of the logs and videos and scans that we have seen or listened to. Um, I feel terrible about all of the people, uh, especially... Um, that one person that we just used over and over and over and he didn't he didn't even know you know uh, i obviously he was not one of the people who made it out of theta i don't know if his brain scan made it over to the ark i hope so i hope maybe alice was able to bring it over with her or something and i still don't really know where catherine's body or catherine's person is um hopefully she's on the ark don't know if we will ever get to find out the catherine of the present doesn't really seem to care i i don't quite understand that mentality but again she's been with it for much longer than simon was so I can see how that perspective can possibly change. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was slightly less productive than before. And if you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.